The purpose of this demonstration is to show you how lead times work in Odoo across a sales flow, a purchase flow, and a manufacturing flow. Let's first start with the sales flow. So in order to uh, set up your lead times, you'd want to navigate to your product record and you'd want to go and we'll create a new product for this case. We'll call this test product one. And here we'll make it a storable product just to be clear and, and to be consistent. And we'll actually want to navigate to our inventory tab. And when you go to customer lead time here, you'll see that depending on the number of days you assign to this field, it will extend the scheduled date of delivery out uh, based on right the basis being the order date. So if I have an order date of June 23rd and I extend uh, and I have a customer lead time of three days, it will make the scheduled date on the delivery order June 26th, which right is June 23rd plus three days, June 26th. Let's go ahead and test that. And we'll go ahead and save. Create an order. Assign it to my customer. And here I will have test product one. And there you'll see my lead time is three days. Actually go ahead and confirm it to pull up the delivery. And you'll see the delivery is now set to June 26th, which is three days beyond the date in which the order was placed, which is June 23rd. I'm not going to get into security lead times in this video. Uh, that will be a video that I make in the future. Okay, so sales, let's take a, a step back. Let's take a look at how things work in purchasing. So very similar, actually I'll start in the product, uh, similar concept. When I look in the purchase tab, you'll see here I'm able to actually uh, assign a vendor and then I can define a particular a delay for this vendor or a lead time for this vendor, uh, right? It's the lead time is the days between the confirmation of the purchase order and the receipt of the products in your warehouse. So this allows me, of course, to define a number of days. And in this case, we'll do four. And you'll see I can have uh, obviously different delays and, and different prices as well as uh, per each vendor that I purchased this product from, uh, which allows for a good degree of flexibility here in terms of configuration options. So let's go ahead and test this. Now, when I look at the purchase order and I create a new one, I wanna make sure I assign it to the actual vendor where I just configured that delay for on the product uh, template, specifically actually on the product.supplier info model, but it's a, it's a one-to-many on the product template. And here I can select my product and you'll see the expected arrival is now four days in advance of the uh, order deadline in this case. And purchasing works uh, a little bit different than sales in the sense, especially when you get into, you know, purchasing for, you know, for manufacturing orders or purchasing for sale orders, right? Um, I'll talk about that in a second. But here you'll see the expected arrival is 627. And of course, when I go ahead and confirm my order and on the receipt, we'll have the uh, scheduled date for 627. And that is uh, lead times for purchasing. Now let's take a look at manufacturing. The logic is a bit different here. So let's, uh, let's assume we're gonna manufacture something for a client. In this case, I will create a new sale order, assign a customer, assign my product. So I actually have this product called Finished Good. Finished Good, I assigned a customer lead time of 20 days. So when I right, went into the inventory, inventory tab on the product template, I defined 20 days as the customer lead time, right? And of course, when I go ahead and I confirm that, it would have my delivery date on my, right, on my transfer 20 days beyond June 23rd, which is July 13th. Now, where things differ when it comes to manufacturing is here. When I look at the actual uh, bill of materials for the finished good, you'll see in the miscellaneous tab, I can define a manufacturing lead time. And in this case, I put seven days. Now, the way that Odoo is going to account for this is it's going to look at the customer, at the actual, I'm sorry, the scheduled date on the delivery order, which in this case is 713, it's then going to say, okay, 
we need to have this product ready by July 13th. And we, and Odoo's gonna make the assumption that we don't want to have this product ready any earlier than this day. It's also going to make the assumption that we don't want to get into procuring anything any earlier than we absolutely have to. And if I know that the product takes seven days to make based on the lead time assigned to that product on the bill of material, then I know I should start the product seven days prior to the date in which I have to deliver this product, which you'll see here, the delivery date is scheduled for 713. And if I go backwards seven days from the 13th, I will land at the 6th of July. And here, when I look at the manufacturing order, Odoo's telling me the scheduled date to start this manufacturing order is actually on the 6th. Now, hopefully that makes sense up until this point. Um, I wanna go a level deeper here and look at the raw materials. So raw material one and two. If I look at raw material one and two, you will see, let's look at these lead times. If I look in the purchasing tab, I buy raw material one from vendor X and it takes two days to get to me. And raw material two takes three days to get to me. And now you'll see here when I look at the purchasing, it's actually set up to arrive on the sixth and because it takes three days to, to order, the, right, it has a three day lead time with the vendor, Odoo is telling me to purchase it on July 3rd. Again, Odoo is also making the assumption here that I don't wanna have the raw materials necessary to manufacture this product any earlier than I absolutely have to. And therefore, when Odoo does this calculation, it's going to tell you, right, order these materials on the third they'll take three days to get here therefore therefore they will arrive on july 6th and on july 6th you need to start manufacturing the finished product because it takes seven days to manufacture and therefore the product needs to be will be done uh, with the manufacturing process by july 13th and july 13th is 20 days from today which is the expectation that we set with the customer they would get their product 20 days beyond uh, 20 days from the date that they place their order which today is june 23rd so that in a nutshell is the basics of how lead times work in odoo it's a very preliminary and elementary introduction to lead times for beginners um, the one thing that i didn't get into is uh, security lead times which you may be saying wow odoo your lead times are are extremely precise and they don't seem to have much room for you know the real world to do what it does which is you know change your plans and and throw and throw wrenches into the equation so uh in order to combat that and to i guess i should say accommodate that and work with that real reality uh odoo is has a feature called security lead times right and here you're actually able to uh, schedule, in this case, deliveries ahead of what Odoo would otherwise calculate um, based on just normal lead time configuration, which I just went through, right? You'll be able to schedule your request for quotes earlier. So in the example I just gave, Odoo would actually schedule that purchase order um, on, let's say I had a two-day uh, security time. It wouldn't schedule the purchase order for the raw materials on the third. It would schedule them on the first Right? And if I schedule them on the first, and I and based on my configuration, I had two days lead time for raw material one, three days lead time for raw material two, uh, instead of expecting to receive them on the sixth, I would actually expect to receive them on the fourth. Right, And my manufacturing, uh, I made if I were to leave this blank, my manufacturing would still be set to start on the 13th, right? And I'm sorry, excuse me, on the sixth, and I would have received these raw materials on the fourth and I would have had two days of buffer for things to go wrong, right? I could also move up my manufacturing orders. So I could say, if I want five days ahead of time, you know, I need, uh, instead of starting my manufacturing on the sixth, I would start it on the first. And right, if I'm starting my manufacturing on the first, then I need my raw materials on the first, which in this case, I'd work backwards, right? I would, instead of ordering them three days prior to, 
uh, on the 28th, uh, Odoo would now, with the two days configure, order them actually on June 26th so that they arrive on the um, 29th and, and so on and so forth. And you'll see how everything works backwards from there. Um, that's the intro into lead times. I didn't, I'm not going to go into showing exactly how the functionality works in this video. Uh, I'm going to save it for another video, but hopefully that it, you know, paints some picture for you to, to begin to understand how all this comes together. Again, it's an introduction. There are more features behind the scenes at work and, and more use cases, which slightly change the logic that I just walked you through. But um, generally speaking, this is a good place to start and, and should provide you with a sufficient framework when it comes to thinking about how lead times work in Odoo. If you have any additional questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks so much. Have a great day.